Hey friends, it's Mari here. I'm back today with the second project for my holiday series this year. And today I'm going to be making another card. Today my card is going to be using the Mr. Snowman die from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And this is a really super layered um, die set and I just really love it. I love all of the dimension that it adds to a card. I'm going to link the video from the Sizzix YouTube channel where they show you how to cut out all of the parts. I didn't do the cutting on camera, but I what I did was I cut all of the different parts in the different colors, and I'm going to take you through the process of putting those together. So these this is my first layer of the white pieces, and I'm, to that I'm going to add the second layer of white pieces, and I'm going to go around all of the edges of the the white pieces of cardstock with some pumice stone distress oxide ink just to define the edges and make the different layers of the snowman pop a little bit. <clears throat> so you can see here that it doesn't seem to be too difficult to figure out where these different pieces layer on top of each other. And that's because the dies have little indentations in the die pieces that just kind of crease the, the uh, cardstock. So you can see exactly where to glue your different pieces, which is super cool and easy. Now I cut the red sections out of some Tim Holtz red cardstock. And what I'm doing with those parts is I'm just going around the edges with some black soot. Once again, just to define the edges of the paper so that you can see the layers once you lay the different layers of paper on top of each other. I feel like this is uh, these dies are just genius because it's so cool how they add this really neat added dimension to the project, whatever it is that you're working on. So I'm just going to continue away here with adding some of these tiny little pieces. If you're not interested in working with really finicky uh, tiny little pieces of cardstock, this might not be a die set that you would love, but I just really had so much fun putting this together and adding all of the little parts. And I really love the finished product in the end. It was totally worth it. So I'm just going to move now to the black pieces. And like I said, I've cut all of the black pieces out. The dies all tell you what color to cut from each one of the different sections, which makes it super, super easy. And so this is the hat and the little eyes and mouth pieces, which I'm just going to glue in. I'm using my little um, Silhouette Pick Me Up tool and I'm uh, just going to use my Nouveau glue here to get all of these pieces glued down. Um, the Nouveau glue is really nice because it doesn't dry immediately so it allows you to move your pieces around a little bit which is pretty important for this particular process. Um, you can see here that I've got all of the little black pieces adhered now and I didn't put that one little black piece in where the carrot's going to go just because I thought that wasn't really too purposeful. This part was probably the most finicky is adding all the little gray pieces to the eyes and the little black mouth um, dots because the little gray pieces are super, super tiny, but it's not hard to do. You just have to take the time to do it. Um, these little gray pieces I'm adding in here just provide a little bit of a highlight on the button and you just have to you know work away here at these tiny little pieces and get those into place and tweezers were pretty important for this process for me i felt like um, i would not have probably been able to do this at all without my tweezers but um and i did end up losing a couple of little pieces as i went along but you know to be honest my die cutting machine is right beside me here at my table so it takes two seconds if you do end up losing one of the little pieces as you're working away another way that you could do this is to cut the pieces as you go but because i was videotaping the process that didn't seem to be um, sort of the best way to do things for my workflow today so i did like i said cut all of my pieces ahead of time and i did actually have to go back and recut the gray pieces because i, I lost a couple of those little tiny highlights for the mouth pieces. Now there's also a couple of little extra pieces of white for the little snowman's gloves. I think um, I ended up having to recut maybe one of these pieces too because I think I lost one of those but um, that did not take me very long to do and 
it you can see here I'm trying to add a topper piece but that is too small so I go back and recut that one piece that gets layered underneath that little tiny white piece that I just placed on there so um, I did that and in this section here the reason why the video is going so slow is because I actually had three sections of my videos corrupt I don't know why that happened it just happens sometimes um, it might be because my um, right now I maybe just have too much on my computer and I need to go in and remove some of my videos and stuff but what you see me doing right here is just looking at the different different pieces that I have cut to see where that other little white piece is and then I discover oh yes I believe I have lost that little one little white piece and I just put a little bit of cardstock into my die cutting machine and just recut that so sorry for this part here that is just sort of like really slow and I'm not really doing anything okay so now I wanted to also apologize because my watercoloring section is another one of the sections that corrupted all I did though, to be honest with you, is I just swiped some Distress ink in Stormy Sky and Blueprint Sketch across my watercolor paper. Literally, that is all I did. I watered it down, swiped it across, let it dry. It took me like maybe 20 seconds to do. What I'm doing here is I'm adding some of those little Christmas tree dies. Those are from the Die Set Woodlands and I've just cut them from some of the forest green Tim Holtz cardstock and the one that's on top of the other is layered on with some foam adhesive. Now you can see my really cute little dimensional snowman is all finished and I'm going to add him to my card with some foam adhesive and now I'm going to just water down some white acrylic paint and put some splatters all over my card. So I'm working on the waffle flower art mat here which I absolutely love it's really really super great when you want to add a little bit of mixed media to your project whether it's watercolor or in this case I'm also adding some acrylic paint it's just a really easy tool to have to work with now I'm just going to take some of the Nouveau glitter accents in fresh snowfall and I'm going to add some of that now that my acrylic paint splatters have all dried I'm just going to take this and add little drops of it here and there I'm going to add quite a bit on some of the branches of my trees and a little bit on my snowman's hat and just get some of it a little bit more thick on the snowman and on the trees but just sort of like light little dots in the background where the snowfall is falling and there's just a couple little spots where I got a little bit too much so I'm just going to pick that up with the ends of my tweezers and wipe that off a little bit and then I'm going to just go in and add a little bit more in more thickly on top of my snowman here and there and my trees. Once that is all dry, I am ready to finish up my card and there's going to be a transition here and you'll see I'm ready to add some my sentiment. Now I'm going to add the sentiment with the alphanumeric classic lower dies from Tim Holtz. And I've just cut them again from the red cardstock from Tim Holtz as well. So now I'm going to take my distressing tool and I'm just going to distress the edges of my watercolor paper here just so that it, because I want it to just, I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look fairly distressed. And I'm also going to take one of the pattern papers from the Christmas Noel 8x8 pattern paper pad from Tim Holtz and add a little bit of a border around my card. Now my card is basically finished, but I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I don't want just the word Mary there. I would really like it to say be Mary. So I'm going to add that. I'm just showing you the dimension that this has on my card, which I really love. And now there's gonna be a little tiny transition here and you'll see that I've added the word B. And I also added three little gold stars, which are from the um, Festive Things die set from Tim Holtz as well. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I am going to have some still shots right away here of the card, and you will be able to just see all of the details and how much dimension there is to this card. And I really like how this turned out. Thanks so much and have an amazing day. And I hope to see you again here on my channel. Bye-bye. Thank you.